Pandemic. Hi, everyone. I'm Dave Zare, and thanks for joining us today on It's Academic. Let's get to our opening round. We give our teams 100 points to start. 10 points for each correct answer in this first round. 10 points off should our teams miss. And teams, uh, we're talking about five-letter body parts. Medical terms are often long and hard to pronounce, but that's not always the case. Please identify the following parts of the human body whose names have just five letters. We begin. The main bone structure of the head, Towson. The skull is correct, yes, often seen on old pirate ships flags. Next, an ossicle of the inner ear, Marriott's Ridge. Answer, please. We're looking for anvil or incus, I-N-C-U-S or A-N-V-I-L. Remember, five letters. Next, the short opposable digit of the hand, the yes, Annapolis. Pinky. Uh, not the pinky, no. We would have taken thumb. Thumb is what we were looking for there. Next, the body's largest internal um, the towson. Liver? Is it heart? Is it liver? No, we, you wait. I think it's liver. Liver. Liver is correct, yes. Next, the main trunk of the systemic arteries. Marriott's Ridge. Aorta? Aorta is correct, yes indeed, Quabina. Next, the large tooth behind the bicuspid. Yes, Annapolis. Molar? Molar, you got it, Emma. Next. The medical name for the... Towson? Femur. Femur is right. The medical name for the thigh bone. And lastly, another name for the belly button. Towson. Navel. Navel is correct. And that's the end of the opening round on It's Academic. <laughs> it's Academic with David Zarin. It's Academic, brought to you by Giant. Clock New things are everybody. happening at Giant. Clock, clock, clock your hands. The Mary Bridge, Mustang, the best. And Melvin, here we go. Clock your hands, everybody. Everybody, clock your hands. The Mary Bridge, Mustang, the best. And Melvin, here we go. Let's go, Mustang! And if you thought those cheerleaders were exceptional, they are. They are the champs of Howard County, the Marriott's Ridge varsity team, and also the Maryland State champs. Congratulations, girls. Nice to have you here today. Nice to have you here today, too, for our game. We've got nine great players here. Let's meet the first three that hail from Towson, Tyler and Bill and Jenny. Nice to have you guys here. Tyler, I know you've been in the stands before, but first time on the set. Welcome to the program. Tell us about yourself. Uh, well, I'm Tyler Yap, and um, along with It's Academic, I enjoy doing math competitions, and I won the math team. Very good. And I'd like to um, thank our coach, uh, Mr. Alford. Absolutely. Can't do it without your coach, and the coach will be up in a few moments. Thank you, Tyler. And Bill, welcome back, because Thank you, you were here last year. Mm -hmm. You're now a senior. Tell us more about yourself. Well, before that, I'd like to thank our principal, uh, Ms. Demino, for being here and supporting us in the its academic team competition. And um, personally, I really like Star Wars. <laughs> and how about the new movie about uh, Luke Skywalker? Have you seen that? Uh, yeah. How many stars? Um, he doesn't want to say. I'll keep it. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to put your opinions about movies out here today. Jenny, welcome back. I know you've been here for a number of years. You're a great player. Tell us about yourself. Hi, my name is Jenny Glickman. I'm a senior at Towson High School. In addition to its academic, I am the lead art editor for our school's literary magazine, and I am a member of our uh, theater stage crew. And I would like to thank our alternate Ben, as well as our friends and family, for joining us today. And there are a lot of them out there, and Ben appreciates that. What's the name of your literary magazine? Colophon. Nice. I like it. I like it. All right, Towson, these are your questions. Look at the monitor. 20 points, no penalties. We begin. Hippo, lion, Mammal. zebra. Okay. Hidden in this list of animals is the name of what disease that crippled Franklin Roosevelt? Polio. Polio. Polio is correct. Skillfully, unhappily, or sloppily. If you completed a task, task with dexterity, you would have finished your work in which of these ways? Skillfully. Yes, sir. A tied game and to sketch. Which same word fits Draw. both of these definitions? Draw. Draw is correct. Thanks. Choose among Libya, New Zealand, and Iraq. Which one of these countries is located south of the equator? New Zealand. Correct. And lastly, a joke is a very serious thing. This very serious comment was made by what British statesman who served as Britain's Prime Minister during World War II? Winston Churchill. That's it. Nicely done, Towson. Thank you for 210 points.
And our second team today hails from Marius Ridge. And Hongzi, nice to have you here for the very first time. Corbina, yeah. nice to have you back again. And Rohan, nice to have you back again as well. Hongzi, tell us your story. Uh, my name is Hongzi Kaur. I'm a senior from Marius Ridge. And in, in addition to the It's Academic team, um, I'm also on the math team. And I like playing the cello. And also, I'd like to thank the teachers and parents for coming here today to Wonderful. support us. Is there an orchestra at Marriott's Ridge that you participate in? Yeah, the, um, the Sixth Period Orchestra. Wow. As the cellist, very nice. All right, Kwabina, how many years have you been with us now? Um, this is my third year now. Third year, you're a wonderful player. It's nice to have you back here in your senior year. Tell us about yourself. Uh, hello, my name is Kwabina. Uh, I'm a senior at Marriott's Ridge. Uh, in addition to its academic, I'm also a member of the math team. I'd like to thank our alternates, Anderson and Alex, for coming out here to support us today. Wonderful, important parts of the team. And Rohan, you've been here for a, num <coughs> excuse me, a number of years. You're a junior now, is that correct? Yes. Tell us about yourself. Hi, my name is <coughs> Rohan. I'm a junior at Mary Church High School. In addition to its academic, I'm a member of our National Honor Society and Social Studies Honor Society. And I'd like to thank our coach, Mr. Dubs, for coming out, and our principal, Ms. Goldeisen. Wow, they'll be up in a few moments. Big man on campus over there. All right, gentlemen, these are for you. Look at the monitor, please. 20 points, no penalties. Sing a solo Monday. Before you start singing, find within this phrase the name of what wise king from the Old Testament? Solomon. That would be he. Amuse him, reform him, or defeat him. If a person is incorrigible, you cannot do which of these? Reform him. That's correct. To train an athlete and Cinderella's carriage. What same word will fit both of these definitions? Coach. Coach. Coach is what we're looking for there. Next, choose among Saigon, Abyssinia, and Panmunjom. Which of these places was renamed Ho Chi Minh City after its capture by the North Vietnamese in 1975? Saigon. Correct. And lastly, a people that values its privileges above its principles soon loses both. These are the words of what five-star World War II general who became our 34th president. Eisenhower? You got it right. Nicely done, Mary it's you. <laughs> and our third team today hails from Annapolis, and we welcome Jane and Emma and Walker. Jane, you're here for the first time. Yeah. Nice to tell us. Nice to have you here. Tell us about yourself. Um, well, my name is Jane Bodor. I'm a senior at Annapolis High School, and um, apart from its ap academic, I am a part of the Performing Visual Arts Program and the drama company at my school. Wonderful. Have you appeared in any of the productions at the school? Yeah, I've done four. four oh, I'll say, yeah, a, a true thespian over there. <laughs> <laughs> Emma, tell us about yourself. All right, I'm um, a senior at Annapolis High School. Um, apart from its academic, I'm a cadet officer in our NGROTC program, mm. and I'm a member of National Honor Society. Well, busy lady there, and I can see why they chose you as the captain. And this is your senior year, isn't it? It is. Yes, it is. And Walker, first time on the show? Yes. Tell us the Walker story. Hi, my name is Walker Dixon. I am a senior at Annapolis High School. Along with its academic, I am the president of our Thespian Honor Society. I'm a part of our drama company, and I am part of the Performing and Visual Arts Magnet Program at Annapolis. Wonderful. So we have a couple of actors here yes. today. Yes, indeed. <laughs> All right. Look at the monitor, please, Annapolis. These are for you. 20 points, no penalties. Hoopla, small comfort. You'll have reason for hoopla if you find within this phrase what word that identifies the fluid part of your blood. P-L-A-S-M-A, -S -S plasma, oh, is hidden in there. Next, charity, lassitude, or rudeness. If you remarked on someone's impudence, you would be commenting on which of these? Rudeness. Rudeness? Yeah, rudeness is right. Yes. Thank you, Walker, for your help there. To hit with a fist and a fruit juice drink. What same word would satisfy both of these definitions? Punch. Punch is right. Choose among drinking age, voting age, and driving age. Which of these is the only one spelled out in an amendment to the Constitution? The voting age. Correct. And lastly, it's like having an unexplored Grand Canyon. This was the comment about a newly discovered waterfall in what Asian land, once headed by the Dalai Lama? Tibet. Tibet. It is indeed Tibet. Nicely done, Annapolis. Takes you to 180. <laughs> Silver and roll with the blue. Silver! 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 Silver!
Marius Ridge cheerleaders. We can see why you are the best in the state. Thank you, girls, very much. You know, the winning team today moves on to our playoffs, but nobody goes home empty-handed. That's because the Baltimore Orioles are once again proud to support its academic. They'll be providing tickets next season for all of today's competing students. You know, celebrating the success of our young people, it makes us all fans. They're having fun there. To find out more about the Orioles' involvement in education and in the lives of youth in our community, why don't you visit them? Go to Orioles.com slash community. Great site. And before you head to the ballpark, check us out on our It's Academic Facebook page. Before we ask any more questions, let's check that score. Right now, Towson is at 240. Marriott's Ridge is at 180. And Annapolis is at 180 as well. Well played. We move next to the picture perfect round. This is a competitive round. Everybody plays. There's a picture with each question. 20 points for each correct answer. 20 points off should you miss. First picture teams coming into view. The animals appear to be dragged unwillingly onto Noah's Ark in this medieval manuscript of what first book in the Bible? Marriott's Ridge. Genesis. Yes, sir. These postage stamps honoring explorers of Antarctica do not include what Norwegian man? Uh, Towson. Amundsen. Amundsen. Raoul Amundsen is correct. Though this statue was found in Turkey, it is what Greek goddess? Tara. Not Hera, no, the goddess of hunting, similar to the Roman Diana, is hard Artemis. That's where we were headed there. Next, salt for X. Towson. Ten. Ten is correct. Next, a Japanese artist completed this painting of an American couple in what year that marked the beginning of the American Civil War? 1861. Correct, yes. Just wait till we recognize you. Thank you. Next, the central figure in this Thomas Aikens painting is playing what Z-initialed string instrument? Marius Ridge. Xylophone? No, uh, a zither with a Z. Next, here's a choice. This expert excerpt is from what ancient Egyptian book of prayers? The Book of Dead, the Domesday Book, or the Dead Sea Scrolls? Marius Ridge. Book of the Dead. The Book of the Dead is right. Last picture. Cowrie shells are called oscillate, a word referring to what sensory organ that also identifies the center of a hurricane? Towson. Oh, the, eye. the eye of the hurricane. Absolutely right. That's the end of the picture perfect round. Welcome back to It's Academic. It's time now to give question asking a break and let's go behind the scenes and meet the faculty coaches and administrators at our three fine schools. Let's go first to Towson, currently with 300 points, and build some familiar figures back there. Tell us Indeed. about them. Well, this is Mr. Alford, our It's Academic coach. He's been with us for uh, many years and he's Indeed. been an amazing coach for our team. And on my right is uh, Ms. Mino, our school principal, who's also supported It's Academic for several Thank years. Thank you both for being here and coach, thanks for all your years of service. Nice to have you here. Mary, it's Rich currently with 200 points and Quabina also some very familiar folks back there devote an awful lot of time to you guys. Tell us yes. about them. Uh, on my right hand here is our coach, Mr. Dubs, uh, who's been coaching us for many, many years. Uh, we're very grateful for, for his support. And on my left hand uh, is our principal, Ms. Goldeisen, uh, who we're also grateful for uh, helping this club to stay running. Absolutely. The dynamic duo over there. Thank you both for all you've done for these wonderful students. And with 180 points, the team from Annapolis. And Emma, would you do the honors, please? Yes. Um, so this is my teacher, Mrs. Rodkin. This is her first year coaching. It's academic. Yes. And Walker, Jane, and I all have her for AP English Lit. Wonderful. So uh, yes, indeed, you're very lucky to have her. Thank you for getting involved with It's Academic, Coach. You know, in our next round of questioning, should our teams enter all eight of our questions correctly, we make a big fuss. We award them 25 bonus points. We light up lights. We release balloons. We even have some special music, and the lights are flashing in front of you, Quabina. So pick packet one, two, or three for the Towson team, if you would. Uh, packet one. Number one. All right, Tyler and Bill and Jenny, let's get all eight of these so we can see those balloons. Here we go. The U.S. motto in God We Trust is shared by what southern state whose economic trust rests on things like citrus fruit and Disney World? Florida. Florida. Florida is right, yes. In 1766, a so-called Butter Rebellion spread through the halls of what Ivy League University in Cambridge, Massachusetts? Harvard. Harvard is right. In Germany in 1517, 
95 theses were nailed to the church door by what man who, in doing so, launched the Protestant Reformation? Martin Luther. Correct. Science question for you, Towson. Look at your monitor, please. If it were possible to throw a stone from the earth all the way to the moon, which of these qualities in regard to the stone would not change? Yes. Um, what do you think? So it's not, oh, acceleration. acceleration, right? Acceleration. Actually, it was the mass. The mass would remain the same. Next. In return for the Statue of Liberty, the school children of America gave France a statue of what French Marquis, a hero of the American Revolutionary Lafayette. War. Lafayette. Lafayette. Thank you, Jenny, for your help there. You don't have to be a bird watcher to enjoy Harper Lee's novel that has what bird in its title? The Kill a Mockingbird. That's right. Math question for you, Towson. On your monitor, please solve for X for me, please. Two. It is two. And lastly, when Edmund Hillary's expedition reached the top of Mount Everest in 1953, they flew the flags of Great Britain, India, and what third country whose capital is Kathmandu? Nepal. 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 Nepal it is. And that's the end of the round for Towson. Takes you to 440. Nicely done. Kids ever so close to giving away those bonus points. It might happen from Marius Ridge. Emma, two or three from Marius Ridge. Three. Let's give them three. All right. Hongsi, Kwabina, Rohan, don't let us down. Let's get all eight of these. Here we go, guys. The 17th century writer Thomas Brown denounced as vainglory what huge geometric structures built as tombs for ancient Egyptian pharaohs? Pyramids. That's right. Russia first conquered and colonized Siberia during the reign of what 16th century czar whose cruelty was legendary? Terrible. Ivan the Terrible. That's right. After pulling the wool over her father's eyes, Medea helped Jason steal what legendary sheepskin? The fleece. That's it. Science question for you, Marriott's Ridge. Look at your monitor. Which of these terms refers to rocks that are formed by the solidifying of molten matter Igneous. from the Earth's core? Igneous. Igneous is right. Email would have been useful to what radical cousin of John Adams, who started the Committees of Correspondence in 1772? Samuel Adams. Sam Adams is right. The Divine Comedy isn't a review of the latest sitcom, but a medieval religious allegory by what Italian poet? Dante. Yes, sir. Math question for you. Marriott's Ridge, if R equals 3, what is the value of S? 4. It is indeed 4. I have 25 bonus points for you, Marriott's Ridge. Get this. About two-fifths of the population of Uruguay live in what large city that is the country's capital? Yeah. Uh, different. Oh, Montevideo. You got that right. 25 bonus points, Marriott's Ridge. Montevideo. All right. We had balloons. We had uh, even a couple smiles that time. All right. Let's see if we can do the same thing for Annapolis. I've got packet two left. Let's see if you can get all eight of these, Emma and Jane and Walker. Here we go. Born in Zanesville, Ohio, author Zane Gray almost never used his real first name, which identifies what gem produced by an oyster? Pearl. Pearl. Pearl, yes. An ability to stay underwater for as long as 15 minutes is a big help to what large rodents whose expertise at building dams is admired by human engineers? Beaver. That's right. Edgar Allan Poe's story, The Pit and the Pendulum, is not only a good horror tale, but also a history lesson about what cruel Spanish church tribunal That would be the Inquisition, the Inquisition. Science question for you. Look at your monitor. Which of these is a ring of small icy bodies orbiting the sun beyond Pluto? Circumpolar. Circumpolar. Wait, no. Which one are you choosing? Uh, Cooper Belt. Uh, uh, Kuiper Belt. Kuiper yes, Belt. that is correct. Yes, ma'am. The White House had neither a library nor a modern, modern bathtub when Millard Fillmore became president in what year, named in a compromise admitting California to the Union? 1850-something. Which guy? 1852. Ooh, you should have stopped at 1850. I didn't need to do 1850. Good try. Next. Centuries ago, the Japanese poet Basho described the forests of Japan using what verse form that has 17 syllables? I could. Haiku. It is haiku. <laughs> Thank you, Walker. Math question. Look at your monitor, please. If x equals 9, what is the value of this expression 
giving me your answer 70. as an integer. 70. It is indeed 70. And lastly, the longest period in which no new amendments were added to the Constitution was the 61 years preceding what number amendment that outlawed slavery? 16th Amendment? 13, 13. Still a good round for Annapolis. Takes you to 280 points, 280. Welcome back to Inside Academic. Hope you're enjoying this game at home. We're having a great time here in the studio. Time for the grab bag. Before we ask any more questions, let's check that score. Right now, Towson is at 440, Marriott's Ridge at 385, and Annapolis at 280. In this grab bag, questions worth 20 points, 20 off if our teams miss 30 up or down for the visual questions. Teams, good luck. We begin. Though it wasn't fought on a college campus, the slogan of the French Revolution linked liberty and equality to what? Yes, Marius Ridge. Fraternity. Fraternity is right. Yes, sir, sir Quabina. Next. Bed bugs don't just infest beds. For several months last year, they occupied City Hall in what T initialed city? Arizona's second. Tucson. Tucson, second largest city. That's right, Bill. Next. A volunteer firefighter named Alexander Cartwright is remembered for drawing up the rules for what sport? Whose Hall of Fame is at Cooperstown? Towson? Baseball. Baseball. The Baseball Hall of Fame. Yes, indeed. Look at your monitors. This is a visual question worth 30 points. This is what Civil War general? Yes, Towson. McClellan. It is George McClellan. That's right. Ran against Abraham Lincoln in 1864. If a pole 12 feet high casts a shadow 8 feet long, how long a shadow would be cast by? Yes, Mary, it's Ridge. Five. Uh, no, 20 feet, because the pole would have been 30 feet high. Uh, president Rutherford B. Hayes is buried in an Ohio town named for what first Republican presidential nominee, a man nicknamed the Pathfinder. Towson? Fremont? Fremont is right. John Charles Fremont. Good. Thank you, Jenny. Their plans for a greenhouse on Mars have won a major NASA competition for a team of engineering students from what New Hampshire Ivy League College? Towson. Dartmouth. Dartmouth is right. Thank you, Jenny. 30 points. Look at your monitors. Zulu's Zap Rivals. Big win. What African chief might have sent this text? Yes, Towson? Shaka. Shaka is right, Tyler. The Relentless Revolutionary is the subtitle of a recent biography of what composer who broke the rules in writing his Ode to Joy? Beethoven. Towson. Beethoven. Ludwig von Beethoven is correct. Here's a choice. If a gas is subjected to a pressure of 10 atmospheres, we were headed for 147 pounds, but that buzzer says our game is over. We will be right back with a wrap up. Don't go away. We congratulate with 280 points of team from Annapolis. With 385 points, Marriott's Rich. And today's winner, they're going to the playoffs with 600 points. That team from Towson High School. <laughs> Join us next week, Pikesville, Howard, and Delaney in the playoff. I'm Dave Zarin. Hope to see you then. Audience, come on down. <laughs>